if you, have, if you do not know if you do not know like uh, you have a mass in the thyroid you do not know if it's cancer or what the first thing to do is to grab a guyabano leaves lang my mother operated from a mastectomy two weeks ago carcinoma stage 2b she always complained Paminsan. Okay. So if you have cancer again, like what I have been trying to tell people, the best thing to do is to drink Guyabano leaves. That's the first thing to do. Guyabano mm -hmm. leaves. If, Guyabano leaf tea. if you do not know, if you do not know, like uh, you have a mass in the thyroid, you do not know if it's cancer or what, the first thing to do is to grab a Guyabano leaves and then just drink it, you know. Boil it, drink it. Uh, three times a day that's okay with you okay so hi doc farah is it okay to drink guyabano leaves every day i have tried it uh and i have used it for most of my uh, clients for 16 years they have been taking it every day and they are fine so when you look at the literature diba sabi nila not, not literature but some people who are saying that it's bad to take it every day yeah, show I, me. I don't think that's right okay yeah, this doesn't exist. just like what they're saying with guyabano leaves. They're saying that guyabano leaves can cause anemia. I mean, you can always say all of these chismes. These are all chismes. Just chismes. But again, is have you proven it? So you have to ask that person, like, have you shown? Have you seen this in clinical settings? And most probably they haven't. Because like me, I have used guyabano leaves for 16 years. 16 years! Yeah. And I have never seen anyone who had anemia. If they had anemia, it's because of their ailment. And that's very normal if you have cancer. Because if you have cancer, one of the symptoms is actually chronic anemia. So so it's easy to dispel that. Okay, Paul? I, I, just, I just saw someone. Uh -huh. People are confused when it comes to goyabano. They think that the sweet goyabano fruit uh -huh. is a great benefit when it comes to cancer alleviation. Uh -huh. Guys, sweet goyabano fruit is full of sugar. The thing that was tested at UP Dilliman were Guyabano leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was the leaves that were found to be extremely cytotoxic as far as cancer is concerned there. Yes. Not the fruit. Yeah. So I know everybody, you know, pretty much everybody likes, you know, uh, the, the sour sop. But it's the leaves mm -hmm. that had the anti-cancer benefit. Oh, uh, uh, I will tell you because when I went to UP... Um, they were researching on Guyabano leaves and, and they said that it's one of the, I can tell you quote and quote that they told me and it was, you know, my husband was there as yeah. well, that Guyabano has an anti-cancer property. In fact, what we, we basically, they were studying mm -hmm. about 2,000 different medicinal plants there at the laboratory in UP. It was all pharma, pharmaceutically funded research. And so we'd ask them, what is the most uh, potent anti-cancer uh, medicinal plant you found? They said, "Well, it's guyabano leaves mm -hmm. by far." Mm -hmm. So really, I said, "Well, do you, when when and you, atis, the next is the atis. next was atis, which yeah. it's a, a sister plant of guyabano." So I, I'd ask him. I said, "When do you plan to release that information?" They said, "Well, we're not. That's mm -hmm. that's pharmaceutical funded research. They own mm -hmm. the data, and so they would they will never release that information." But I'm going to release it to you right now. Yeah, so we're releasing so the information. the laboratory at UP Dilliman did testing on over 2,000 medicinal plants, and the two most effective anti-cancer plants they found were goyabano leaves and atis leaves in the Philippines. Mm. This was when we were there, you know, when we were talking to a lot of the uh, people there. So, mm -hmm. yun hu yung ginagawa nila by that time. So, you know, it's it's really good, you know, to know all of these things. Because especially if you do not have money, di ba? That's right. Kawawa ka naman. Kawawa naman ng Pilipino. They do not have any more money. Well, that's then, why they would never tell them. Yeah. So, I mean, because the, the thing is, you have to, one, one quick segue, Mom. Look at, mm -mm. You have to look at the business of oncology, guys. Of, of doctors who typically treat cancer. Um, what they're looking for in order to pay their bills are sick people, sick and dying people. Now, if there are less sick and dying people, that means there's less of an income for someone like that. So mm -hmm. understand, working in a field like that where you're, everybody is just sick and dying mm -hmm. and you need them that way, yeah. I don't want them that way. I'd rather yeah. everybody be healthy. And I want you all to know this herbal medicine, especially for the poor. Because imagine mo, you're, you're having diarrhea. Your one-year-old is having diarrhea. Tapos, 
Ay, ang gamot is guava lang naman. 95% of diarrhea will stop by taking guava leaves. Ano? And wala kang pera, you don't have any money. O, patay na, patay na yung anak mo, di ba? So it's really better for us to all know the uh, so, oh, herbal no. medicine. This, ano? is, this is knowledge, it's been lost. Mm -hmm. Okay.